AITA for getting a teacher fired when she wouldn't let my daughter eat in class? My 47F daughter 13F is type 1 diabetic and sometimes hypoglycemic. Due to this, we set up a 504 that says she can eat a snack in class whenever needed, along with other accommodations. Anyways, at one point one of her teachers, who is apparently a new teacher, denies her a snack while hypoglycemic. She nearly passes out but in the next class she is in. The teacher has enough common sense to let her eat a snack before passing out at school. When she told me, I immediately called the teacher. When she called back, I lectured her and told her that she needed to let my daughter eat a snack when needed. She says snacks aren't allowed in class but I tell her that due to my daughter's 504 she is legally required to give my daughter an exception to that rule and recommended she give it another read. Before hanging up, I tell her that if she does this again I will contact the principal and let him know. I recorded this call on my husband's phone by the way. A month goes by and the same thing happens again. I request a meeting with the principal and my husband plays back the call between me and the teacher. I tell him she has done this twice and needs to have a talk with her. Turns out, he actually fired her for ADA violations. How do I know? I ran into her at Publix. She told me that it's my fault I got her fired over some stupid snacks, and I need to stop raising an entitled brat. Instead of arguing back I just walked away. Was I really ta? Did I actually go too far? NTA. I studied to be an art teacher for a while. And we talked quite a bit about students having special accommodations. And how to deal with them. This teacher should have known better. No question about it. NTA, it's your fault that you threw your career away over some stupid snacks. NTA, a 504 is a legally binding agreement that the school has to follow. The teacher was actually probably fired because she didn't follow the 504. And the school could get into trouble for that. NTA. Seems like that teacher made that restriction up in her head. Also, it's not about stupid snacks, it's about your daughter's life. NTA. She put your daughter's life at risk. Twice. The whole point of things like 504s and IEPs is that they are not optional or subject to the whims of petty tyrants. Fuck that lady. NTA. Obviously. NTA. As a special education teacher. I can assure you that teacher needed to go. If this teacher. And a brand new teacher. Was violating letting a student eat snacks as stated in her 504. I wouldn't be surprised if the other 504s and IEPs in the class were being violated. Not sure what state you live in. But in my state, all teachers have to sign the IEPs and 504 within the first two weeks of school stating they read them for each student in their class. Most states have some kind of similar legal requirement. Either this teacher signed without reading, or she read them and decided to discriminate against students based on medical conditions and disabilities. You did the right thing and protected other students from her. NTA in a million years. You were advocating for the health and safety of your child. She was in very real danger. Snacks are literally medical care she was being denied. That is never ever acceptable. She's getting off lightly by just being fired. I would contact the principal again regarding this interaction at the store and ask if there is a formal complaint that can be made against the teacher's license. I don't know why you're even asking. Of course you're NTA. Any one of these things is a perfectly legitimate reason why you not only aren't the awe. But this teacher should never have been teaching young children. 1. 
For those who are unfamiliar, T1D is an incredibly dangerous disease that can kill a seemingly healthy young person in a short time. That teacher could literally have caused your child's death by denying them what she referred to as a stupid snack. This wasn't about general hypoglycemia or being hangry or just fainting. Kids with T1D go into diabetic shock and die all the time. Parents I know whose kids have it live in constant fear. And it has to be monitored so carefully. 2. The fact that even after multiple warnings, meetings, explanations, and a 504 plan that indicated your child's medical needs, this teacher had the gall to refer to your child as entitled, and to her medically necessary food as stupid snacks, also speaks really strongly to both this teacher's shocking ignorance and horrifying attitude towards kids in general. No kindness or patience. No desire whatsoever to be understanding. And a complete inability to comprehend a well-known medical condition are also indicators that this woman should never have been an educator in the first place. My mother was a teacher for nearly 50 years. I worked in daycares and schools for years. The accepted standard when working with kids with T1D is not only to allow them snacks or juice, but for the teacher to keep some as well. A juice box, a tube of frosting, etc. For emergencies. I am utterly appalled at this entire situation. But you are in no way the awe here. She needed to get gone. NTA at all. She broke the law and endangered you daughter twice. Knowingly putting your student's health at risk is her fault. Not yours. It was far from a stupid snack. NTA. I would highly recommend telling your daughter if it happens again. Another teacher. Walk out and go straight to the office to eat her snack while they call you. I have known people who are type 1 diabetic. I also knew one person who died from it. The teacher should have known better. It is their job to ensure not just the safety of their students, but to educate them. I'm glad her ass got fired. She had no business being around children because of her complete lack of care. Especially for this situation. Diabetes as an invisible illness. And if the proper care is not taken, a person can die. There is no excuse for this teacher's behavior. NTA it's a documented health issue you would be in the wrong if you were demanding she have a five-course meal in the middle of class or not documented. I'm guessing this person that also done other things who complains over a freaking snack. 100% NTA. My niece is a T1D and has a similar 504 plan. You handled it much more gently than my sister would have if this happened to her child. 504 plans are there to protect children who need support in school. This teacher violated that 504 plan and was reprimanded accordingly. She told me that it's my fault I got her fired over some stupid snacks, and I need to stop raising an entitled brat. Some motherfuckers are always trying to ice skate uphill. NTA op. This teacher isn't a doctor. She doesn't get to decide if your daughter can't have a snack to keep herself from getting sick. I'm assuming her passing out would be very dangerous. I for one am glad to hear she got fired. NTA. NTA. The principal did the school a favor by firing her. Not letting your child eat after being informed of her hypoglycemia as sadism. NTA. She was fired for endangerment. NTA. She failed to follow the law and put your kid in danger. She's lucky you are you. Cuz if I were you I'd go postal and end up in jail. She better count her lucky stars. NTA. I mean you didn't even immediately go to the principal you first gave her a warning and then she 
continued to disregard a legitimate medical issue. That is insane. She was endangering your child after she had been made aware of her situation. She should not be in a job where she is responsible for children if she can't take health issues. Seriously. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epicaracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.